Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm joined this afternoon by MJ Simmons, Director of Admissions at Buford Academy. Welcome, MJ. Karen, thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I know um, a little bit about Buford Academy and where you're all located, um, but I'm wondering what happens this time of the year at Buford Academy, particularly for you as a Director of Admissions? Absolutely, this is a very busy season for us. We are opening re-enrollment to our new families and we'll open enrollment to the public as of March 2nd. So any seats that are available, we would love to have people come in. And that being said, we'll have open houses and different avenues for parents to come in and see the school and see if this is something that they would love to do for their children. Yes, Our yes. first open house is January 22nd, Thursday, January 22nd at 8.30. And the following Thursday, we will have another open house at 8.30 as well. And it's really a drop-in. Anytime you can come, fit it in your schedule, drop your children off and come. And this is for pre-K 2, pre-K 3, pre-K 4, and kindergarten. And it's really so the parents can see the students in action, what the teachers, teachers are, yes, what the teachers are doing with the kids. And it, it's a wonderful program. I can speak from experience. I have a three-year-old there myself. so. I've enjoyed every minute of this year and am so impressed with the curriculum and what's going on in the class. So this is just a way for parents to, to come and see if this is something. Yeah, so that fits for their family, find out a little bit about more about Buford Academy um, and what programs are there. Talk to us a little bit about class size for those youngsters um, that you're referenced in, the, in those age groups and if somebody was looking to enroll their child at Buford Academy, um, what are some of the benefits? Absolutely, absolutely. So we say we have a 13 to 1 ratio in the younger grades. In pre-K, it's a bit smaller depending on the class. My son's class is 10 to 2, and um, most of all of the pre-K classes are two teachers, or a teacher and an assistant with their students. The older we get, it's about 13 to 1 depending, and that's really one of the most amazing things about BA is the small class sizes and the teachers really get to know your child and focus on that relationship and have open lines of communication with the parents so they can write wonderful teacher recommendations when they're going off to college because they know the children so well and know their academic styles and they can really tailor what they're doing for each child individually and with that for the older children, we have a bring a friend to school day is what we call it. On March 20th, the public schools are closed on Friday, March 20th. So we're open and we invite any student that's interested, grades 1 through 11, to come and spend a day with us. Find out what see, it's all about right, just, and what makes it different. That's exactly right. What makes a small independent school something they may be interested in. So they'll come in and we ask parents or students to RSVP because we'll, we will provide lunch for them as well. But they really get to you know, walk a mile in a BA student's shoes or see what's going on through the day and see if this is something they'd like to do. Some of the you know, misconceptions they've heard may, you know, they'll realize right. are not True, true. Necessary. yes, necessary. necessary. So come and find out for yourself what BA is all about. So definitely as Director of Admissions, that's busy time of year for you. But as you mentioned, as a small, private, um, academic institution, you're always looking for the community to help support you um, and have fundraisers. So I know that you have a, a fundraiser coming up soon at the end of this month on January 31st. Tell us about that. Uh, it is the Chili Bean Run and Cook-Off. And for all of you runners, it is a certified course. So great, so it, it counts. Yes, the it counts, counts. Time counts, time counts. <laughs> time counts. It is, and it's a 5K and a 10K. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, we are having a chili cook-off and chili competition, and it's a great family so event. So if you're a certified chili eater, it's a place yes. to come as well. Yes, <laughs> so you don't have to be a certified runner. You can be a certified chili eater also. And coming for, and what it was, there a ticket cost for that? What's the ticket cost for that? There is, and the, the ticket cost for, I believe, for runners, I believe it's $35. Okay. You can find that information yes. out uh, on active.com. You can go register. And if you'd like to just come and you're not a runner, not interested in running, if you'd like to come bring your family or just yourself, eat chili. There are going to be activities for kids as well. And Or if you'd like to walk the course, 
you can walk with your dog or push a stro push a stroller. We'll have and where is a race going to be taking place? At Kusa Point. Okay, so that neighborhood, Kusa Point, all the way down Sam's Point Road, you'll have an opportunity to participate in that run, yes. raise some money, have some good chili. Yes. Um, but that's not the only thing that's been happening at BA this year. I know that it, you are all celebrating your 50th anniversary. What a, what a wonderful time in your school's history. So there's been some events that have already taken place this year, but still a few more to come. So tell us what you have coming up um, May 1st and May 2nd, if people want to participate and continue in your celebration. Absolutely. This has been a great year for us the big 5-0, so a great time to enroll as a student also in the 50th year. But we on May 1st and 2nd, May 1st is our Alumni Hall of Fame induction, so it's going to be a really neat time for alumni to come, get together and you know, share sports stories, different things, even if you were not involved in athletics at Buford Academy. It's just a great time for everyone to get together, and the second is our big birthday bash. So we encourage supporters of the school, friends of the school, anyone who's interested to come out. It's going to be a great time. I know they're going to have food trucks and different things available. It's an, an auction, and this is all taking place on campus. On campus. I was going to say yes. it's on campus on so that campus people can event. see um, what the school is like now. That's right. And, and yes, how things have, have changed. changed. How and some things have stayed, stayed the, the same. same. Exactly, because that is the biggest change in life is how they stay the same. Absolutely. And probably see some friends or classmates that they haven't seen in a long time. Yes. Well, I want to thank yes. you so much for sharing what you have with us this afternoon. And if people are looking for information, of course, they can go directly to the school's Absolutely. website. Absolutely. Please visit our website. Great. Well, I so thank you for your time this afternoon. This concludes Thanks. this edition of North of the Broad. Hope to see you next time. Thanks so much.